Hey guys, welcome back to Surviving the 100. Today we're talking about season five, episode three, where hits the fan. Like literally, metaphorically, emotionally. Showrunner Jason Rothenberg is hanging out with us again, and yes, I asked him about the Blark reunion. I got you guys. Thank you so much for coming in again. It's my pleasure. I feel like you guys have kept me chained up in the studio for a month. It's almost like we shot them all consecutively. Weird. Why are we <laughs> dressed the same way? Craziness. <laughs> Uh, so first, I want to talk about uh, these prisoners. We got to get into get a look into their dynamics and who's yeah. really in charge. Is it Charmaine or is it McCreary? Uh, Dio's is in charge. She's the sort of brains of the operation. McCreary is the muscle, and he's the sort of like alpha dog of the of the prisoners. When they rose up and sort of overthrew their captors, jailers, Dioza needed McCreary because she needed his his gang, essentially, the McCreary gang. Um, but she's the one who got them home. She's the one who, you know, f had the plan. She's a military strategist, so. It's a cat and mouse kind of struggle between the two of them all season long. Um, but right now, Dio's is in charge. And Clark has started another war, um, as she does. Yeah. Uh, was there ever a world in which they came down and everyone just shared Eden peacefully? Uh, no, probably not. <laughs> Things unfolded, I think, in an unfortunate way where Clark did fire the first shot, instinctively, you know, killing the two guys that were manhandling Maddie. And from there, it was sort of, it was sort of human instinct took, took over, you know. Um, Clark wasn't about to give up her home. These people sort of landed in their backyard where they'd lived for six years, happy, and took over, moved in, took the village. You know, this was their home as Clark says in this episode. So yeah, they're not giving it up. And Maddie has lived a pretty peaceful life, it seems like, living alone with Clark in this valley, this Eden. Yeah. And now she's sort of seeing a different side to Clark. And yeah, it's a great moment when she sees like Clark after the ship lands and she begins to see this, this is in 501, that moment where she gives her the gun and she's like, what is this side <laughs> of my mom that I've not seen before? Not really her mom, guys. But like, how is that gonna affect their relationship that Maddie's gonna see Clark do everything and anything, even kill people to protect her and her home. I think that Maddie's for sure, you know, was trained by Clark. Like Maddie can take care of herself as we see when she shows up to save the day in 503. And I think on some level, it's like she doesn't know how badass her mom is until she sees it in action. So I think it probably only makes her love her even more. And uh, Murphy made a, sort of a big decision to stay behind with Raven on this prison ship. Yeah. Um, he didn't realize that there wasn't no. actually an escape pod. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did he decide moment. to make that decision so and would it ever have been his decision if he didn't think he could um, get down? I would have to say no. He would not have made that choice <laughs> if he didn't think there was a life raft. Yeah, when we thought of that in the room, it was one of those moments where the idea was pitched and everybody just started laughing. We knew that it was just like classic Murphy. Um, and Murphy and Raven together are so great, and we do love Murphy now. Murphy is, has certainly like expanded his circle of, of trust to include Raven and the others on, on the spaceship, and so uh, he probably, mm, it's still a big move to stay behind with her, even with a life raft, so. That moment, though, when he realizes, when Raven tells him that it wasn't there, is awesome, is priceless. Richard is priceless in that moment. And so is Lindsay, too, the way she sort of says, yeah, you're right, it would have sucked, and she, like, <laughs> walks away with that smile on her face. I love them. Did he maybe do it to, like, impress Emory, who, you know, obviously his relationship yeah, with her has fallen apart? for sure he did it to sort of partially to impress Amori. Uh, in, in the next episode, we really do sort of explore, and he processes it a bit and explains, you know, comes to some realizations about himself. We also got to see uh, the beginnings of a Balark reunion. Um, how did you guys decide to put that in there so soon? Well, it felt to me like six years and three episodes was long enough, so. And it did feel sort of like to find out that she was alive off camera the way he does from Maddie. And instantly, of course, he has to he has to save her. He has to get her out of the jam that she is in. So we'll see in the next episode when they finally do get to come together in the same room with nobody there and there will be a really special emotional hug. A minute for the hugs. Obviously. Yeah. Well, thank you for stopping by again. My and pleasure. We're going to kick it over to Death Watch and 
I honestly don't have I don't have anyone on my list at this point. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to brainstorm. When you say the death watch, is it like who's going to die in the next episode based oh, on the episode that you just saw? The death watch is a is a broad thing. It's a who based upon the events of this episode might is die eventually. Destined doesn't to die. have to be in the doesn't next episode. Doesn't have to be the next episode. Okay. This week on Death Watch, both Raven and Murphy make the list. Raven did a totally beautiful, selfless, wonderful thing by staying behind on the prison ship. But there's no dropship. There's no way for her to get back down to Earth. Murphy did a less selfless thing. He totally thought there was a dropship, but regardless, they're both still stuck up there in space, and the likelihood that they're gonna get back down to Earth without the help of the prison ship transport in the hands of people who really don't like them, it's just not, oh, it's not gonna happen. Okay guys, that's it for episode three of Surviving the 100. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more episodes and behind the scenes videos.